All right, guys, so this is an updated video for you guys that uh, still have your phone locked with that ransomware virus that has your phone locked asking for money to unlock it. Now, don't worry, guys. You guys are not in trouble with the FBI. It's just a scam, and it's trying to get money off of you guys. So don't fall for the scam. Don't pay them money because even if you pay them, they will still won't unlock your phone. Now, if you guys have tried the methods in my other two videos, the first one, which was uh, logging in in safe mode on your phone or tablet device, and uh, trying to uninstall the app that way and you failed or it's grayed out you can't select it or you've tried to manually de delete the virus through the actual files themselves on the phone and uh, both of those methods have not worked you have no alternative but to factory reset your phone now the good news is you can back up all your stuff by using a program called my phone explorer and this is a program here now the reason why I have these notepad files here blocking some of the info on the program is because I don't want to share my personal contacts or my personal email okay uh, this one's blocking the email this one's blocking the contacts but this is what the program looks like here in the background it'll give you a list of all your contacts your messages and you can back all that up by clicking on this downward download arrow button it'll download it to your computer so that when you get a new phone I mean when you re when you factory reset your phone you can uh, go ahead and um, put those contacts back into your phone once you hook it back to your computer all right now this is a web page here to download my phone explorer I will post the link on the description of the video so you guys can download the my phone explorer program and all you do is just connect your your broken phone to your computer via USB and my phone explorer will pick it up even if it has the virus it will still pick it up and you'll be able to get into the phone and back up all your stuff so after you back up your contacts your messages everything you want to back up video audio everything then to back up your devices um, you go ahead and follow these instructions I'm about to show you alright so for an Android tablet reset first method you could try and actually uh, with this method you don't really gotta back up stuff because it's just gonna do a uh, just a basic reset and it might just might fix your tablet alright so first we're going to do the tablet instructions and then the phone instructions, all right? So method one, like I said, just hold power down for 10 seconds and it'll reset. And hopefully that'll fix it, which uh, most of the cases it doesn't, but it doesn't hurt to try that first. Method two, wipe data. After you back up all your stuff, try this method here, all right? Hold power down for 10 seconds, then after it's off, hold power and volume down button for three seconds and it'll take you to the service mode and this is a service mode right here when you're in service mode uh, the volume button um, volume buttons up and down will will select the options up and down alright guys power button is to enter alright so what you do is you select recovery mode by pushing the downward or upward arrow uh, volume keys on your tablet until you get to recovery mode this mode here and then hit the power button to get into recovery mode when you see this little Android guy with the hatch open on it, um, go ahead and press the power button and volume up key together. All right, you will get to a menu and you use up and er up and down arrows keys to select through the menu and select wipe data factory reset. Then press and press the power button to select that selection. All right, guys. You will get to this menu and press down volume down key until you get to yes. So you're basically just scrolling down the list till you get to yes. And it says yes, delete all user data. Then press power button to select that selection. All right. It'll start to wipe the data. And once it's done, it'll go to the main recovery screen. Go ahead and hit the power button again to reboot your tablet. And it should be back to normal when you first got it out of the box from the store. All right. All your stuff is going to be gone, though. Uh, um, whatever you might save on a tablet alright tablets have a lot less than phones alright but your tablet will be back to normal virus will be gone you'll be good alright and uh, just going back that um, let's go back to to back up your tablet you could try using my phone explorer to back up your tablet but at this point I still gotta find out uh, how to it might be the same guys try it let me know um, tablets don't have as much stuff as phones so I wouldn't think uh, you would want to back up your tablet that bad alright guys so let's get to the phone alright Android phone reset method one 
Again, this is basic reset. It might work, it might not, but hold power down for 20 seconds and then let go. All right, try that. If it doesn't, then you're gonna have to use method two. Turn off phone, make sure you turn off the phone completely. Press volume up key, home uh, volume up button, home button and power button together and hold until provider logo goes away. All right, whatever provider your phone might be. All right, hold those three buttons. Phone will start up, provider logo will appear. And after it disappears, you let go of the buttons and it'll go to this screen here. All right, use up and down arrows just like you did with the, with the tablet to navigate through the menu and use power button to select option. Now the option you're gonna select is wipe data factory and then press power button to select that option. All right. So it's going to be this option right here where I'm where I'm putting the mouse at right there. Wipe data factory. All right. And it's going to Okay, you're going to go to another menu. Go ahead and scroll down to yes and then press power button to confirm the selection, right? To select option and then yes. Phone will start to reset. You'll see stuff going on. It'll be resetting. And once it's done, menu will come up again select reboot with through the power button and phone will be back to normal guys so that is how you factory reset a tablet and a phone after you have this virus and your phone and tablet should be back to normal how it was when you first got it the virus will be gone it should be gone and um, you should be back to normal guys but like I said if you really want to back up if you have to back up stuff you're gonna have to use my phone Explorer and unfortunately Doing a factory reset is the only alternative right now that I know of. Um, this is the only way you're going to be able to fix it, guys. All right, guys, let me know if this really helped you guys. If it did or not, let me know so I can continue trying to fix this problem for you guys. This is one of the only problems that have has taken me more than two videos to try to fix. So um, we're both learning here together. Let me know if this helped you out, guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment on the comment section of the video. Uh, Give the video a like if, if it worked for you. Go ahead and subscribe. I'm always uploading new videos. I'm always going to be here with you guys, all right? So if something doesn't work, let me know. I'll try to find a solution for it. You guys are my subscribers, so whatever you guys ask for me to do, I will do it. That's what I'm here for, guys, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. Again, let me know if it worked for you, and I'll see you soon in one of my other videos.